Outreach Interpreter at Stony Creek Metro Park and today we're here to talk about eggs. Most of you probably have eggs in your refrigerator. You probably haven't thought much about them. Have you ever really looked close at those eggs? Let's look at some eggs right now. Eggs come in all different colors. Tan, brown, white, green, blue. Different kinds of chickens lay different colored eggs. The outside is called a shell. It's hard. It is both fragile and strong. And even though you can't see them, the shell is full of tiny holes which air can pass through. It's porous, just like the fabric of your shirt. It has to be hard enough for a hen to sit on it, yet fragile enough for a chick to be able to break free from it. A hen sits on the eggs to try to hatch them. She must keep them warm, moist, and move the eggs to help the chick grow. Do you think there's a chick in this egg right now? Let's break it and find out. It is pretty strong. There is no chick inside this egg. But what do we have here? Now remember I said the shell was full of holes? So what keeps germs and bacteria out? Well, there's this membrane. It's a barrier that keeps the chick safe from germs that can pass through the shell's pores. Here's an egg that's been soaked in vinegar overnight. It dissolves the shell so we can see exactly what the membrane looks like. That's something you can try at home. Take an egg, put it in a cup, pour vinegar over it, and let it set overnight and see what happens by morning. It's pretty cool. The membrane is thin and kind of feels like a wet water balloon when it's like this. Have you ever noticed when you boil an egg, the yolk is always in the center? Well, there are these two little kind of yucky blobs in every egg. And these are little threads that are kind of like bungee cords attached to the opposite ends of the yolk and to each end of the egg. And this is what holds that yolk in the center. It's called a kuleza. And this yellow part is called the yolk. The yolk is the food for the chick that could grow inside of this egg. It has all of the protein and the nutrition that the chick needs. But where's the chick? Let's go looking for him. Every baby starts out as a tiny cell, and chicks do too. There is this tiny spot on the yolk. It's called the germ disc or germinal disc. And it's right about here. You can look for this on your eggs at home too. Most eggs that you buy at the store will never ever hatch because the farmers don't keep roosters on the farm. So if you don't keep a rooster, you don't have fertile eggs. The chick would grow attached to the yolk by an umbilical cord. Sound kind of familiar? Eggs taste just the same whether they're fertile or not. So the sticky stuff that's clear kind of looks like water. Um, we, we commonly call that the egg white. It's called the egg white because when we cook it, it turns white. The science name for the egg white is albumin. To me, that kind of sounds like some guy's name. Hi, my name is Al. Albumin. The albumin is the cushion for the baby, and it's also its fluids. Also inside the eggshell, there is an air bubble. It's in the wide end, and you'll notice it on a boiled egg. There's always a flat part. That is where the air bubble is. The air bubble is between the membrane and the shell, and as the chick grows, so does the air bubble. It only takes 21 to 24 days for a chick to form inside an egg. At that point, it is all folded up tight in the shell, and it needs to get out. So after taking its first breath, it picks the shell and turns a little, and picks and turns, and picks and turns, and sometimes it'll chirp too. It picks and turns until it goes all the way around the shell, making a hatch door. It is a struggle. It can take four to 32 hours for a chick to hatch, 
Because it's such hard work, the chick takes naps every so often. The struggle is necessary. The chick is learning how to breathe. And as its lungs pump, the chick's body is pulling in the very last bit of that yolk through its umbilical. This allows the chick to survive while waiting for the rest of the eggs to hatch. The chick has a three-day food and water supply built in. After picking the shell all the way around, finally it's time to hatch. The chick stretches its legs and pushes hard and falls out of the shell. At first, the chick looks wet, like it just got out of the shower. It takes a nap for a while as it dries off, and after an hour or so, the chick is up and running. It can feed itself, it can drink. Sometimes they need to be taught to drink, but it only needs its mom for warmth and protection. That's what makes chicks so easy to grow and keep on the farm. I'm Lori. I'm hoping to see you at the Metro Parks real soon. Thanks for watching.